Hello folks, what are the key takeaways from Quant, uh, for Quant from CAT 2021? What are we going to see? Some of the ideas were reinforced, some things that we all, always knew, they were reinforced heavily. I'm going to look at a couple of those and then think about what new we got from CAT 2021. Uh, first principles help. First principles are super crucial. What I mean by first principles, learn an idea by saying, hey, what is the funda behind it? Don't don't jump to a formula and an equation and a solving method and a shortcut. The shortcuts and gimmicks are useless. The questions are challenging enough for no shortcuts to plug and play. If there are a couple of questions that, that where a shortcut help, it is often offset by, by, the, by the time lost in looking for shortcuts and other questions. And so trying to be too cute doesn't help. And to learn from first principles, shortcuts are almost useless. Arithmetic rules. Right? So more than half the questions are from arithmetic. Or in other words, it's not a 50% score that you're thinking about. If you've got arithmetic in the bag, you're, you're, you're comfortably crossing 90th percentile, uh, perhaps closing in on 95, 96 percentile. If you know percentages, profit and loss ratios and mixtures, speed time, distance, pipes and cisterns. A uh, little bit of exponential and logarithm, averages, some simple ideas with equation forming, you're good. You can get 90th percentile, perhaps 95th. So these two have been there throughout the last five, six years. The quant has been consistently uh, non-obvious, tricky, so the formulae are not useful, but not uh, have, have taken a slightly increasing bias towards arithmetic topics. This is super important. What we learn new? Right? Combined topics has become a play. It's very important. So there's always a question that involves percentages and mixtures. So there's something that involves ratios and pipes and systems. So they're, they're putting topics together in a way that it is non-obvious, where you have to figure out something, plug it into another framework, and then solve an equation. So it is important to uh, solve questions that straddle topics. What else is there? Rigor matters. The solving component this year was significantly tougher. Every year in Canada, there are a bunch of questions where you look at it and say, okay, I'll try 16, 20, 22. One of these will work. I'll plug it in and then get to the answer. This time it did not work. Integer substitutions did not work for a couple of questions. I lost time with them. And then the answer turns out to be an integer, but the two individual components are not integers. It's like adding a 10 by 3 and 8 by 3 to get 6. And there were questions that were like that where they said, look, you know the method, plug in, solve the quadratic, get to the answer, then come back here. Don't try to be too cute. So you need to have lots and lots of questions, solve them and to got the practice of solving equations and linear equations and simultaneous equations and quadratic equations and lots of framing in order to get through that. So tons of practice with trickier frameworks is absolutely essential. Last part, we didn't get questions from probability, from coordinate geometry, trigonometry, functions, reminders, what, we, what I would call the crankier parts of quant, uh, where the more mathematical parts rather than the, what you would call as quantitative aptitude. Clearly when we say quantitative aptitude, we mean the the more plain vanilla regular stuff when you, without too many x's and y's and polynomials and equations and all kinds of stuff. So the complicated part of mathematics is not like it is underrepresented, it is practically not represented. So don't waste your time with the trickier parts, learn arithmetic well, do tons of questions that straddle topics, learn from first principles and, and, and build in rigor should be good to go. Best wishes.